Have you ever wondered what unseen battles people around you might be fighting? For some people, life has been a series of storms, leaving them with scars that tell stories few will ever relate to. But these aren't just stories of pain. They're tales of resilience, growth, and triumph. Today, we shall explore the 10 traits of people who have had to deal with more than their fair share of hardship. In this video, you will discover how years of struggle shape people in ways that make them some of the strongest, most empathetic souls you'll ever meet. These are incredible life lessons that we can all learn from. By the end of this video, you might just see yourself or someone you know being reflected in these traits. So make sure to watch the whole video to find out. Number 1. Unbreakable Resilience Imagine a flower that blooms on a cliffside, constantly battered by fierce winds and rain, yet somehow it continues to grow, season after season. This is the resilience of those who have faced hardship and ability to rise after every setback, not simply as they were before, but stronger, wiser, and more determined. Resilience in these individuals isn't just about surviving. It's about learning how to turn every painful experience into a building block for something better. Their resilience is quiet but unyielding, like the roots of a towering tree that withstands storm after storm without breaking. Each scar tells a story of a fall they overcame, a wound that healed, and a struggle that made them wiser. This resilience becomes their foundation, allowing them to face life with a calm strength that doesn't need validation. It's simply who they are. Number two, heightened empathy. For those who have suffered, empathy isn't just a feeling, it's an instinct. Their own pain has sharpened their senses to detect suffering in others, even when it's hidden beneath a brave smile or a casual laugh. Imagine a person who, after walking through their own storms, becomes able to sense when others are facing rain clouds. This heightened empathy means they are often the ones who offer a comforting word, a gentle look, or a quiet presence that says, I can feel what you are going through. They have felt the weight of being alone and suffering, and they instinctively reach out to others to prevent that loneliness. Their empathy is like a warm light, shining on those around them and offering comfort, often without saying a word. This depth of understanding makes them not just compassionate, but healing to be around. They bring comfort in ways others might overlook, filling spaces with the reassurance that they're there to help others shoulder their burdens. Number three, a deep desire for meaning. When life brings relentless challenges, a person begins to search for deeper meaning as a way of making sense of the pain. Those who have faced suffering head-on often embark on a journey within, asking questions like, why did this happen to me? Or how can I use this to become stronger? This desire for meaning transforms their pain into purpose, and over time, they stop seeing themselves as victims. Instead, they become seekers, looking to grow wiser and more connected to life's mysteries. Some turn to spirituality, finding comfort in something larger than themselves, while others explore philosophy or personal growth, trying to make peace with their experiences. This journey doesn't just heal them, it reshapes them, giving them a new identity rooted in strength, understanding, and a powerful sense of purpose. Their past becomes a guide, teaching them how to find meaning in the most unlikely places and helping them rise from hardship with wisdom to share. Number four, hyper-independence. Now imagine being stranded on an island, learning to build shelter, find food, and survive alone because there's no one else there to help. This is what hyper-independence feels like for those who have been hurt too many times. Once trust has been broken repeatedly, self-reliance becomes their safe haven. It's not that they refuse help out of pride. It's more that they've learned to rely on themselves as a means of protection. Accepting help would mean exposing themselves to the risk of disappointment or betrayal again. For them, independence is not a luxury but a necessity. It's an armor they wear, a way to protect their vulnerable hearts from future pain. And while this independence can sometimes be isolating, it's also empowering. They know that, no matter what happens, they have the strength and resourcefulness to survive on their own. Number five, high emotional guarding. Just like locking away your most valuable possessions in a safe, hidden away from sneaky eyes, where only a trusted few know the combination. For those who have suffered deeply, emotions are that valuable, carefully locked away to avoid further pain. 
vulnerability feels dangerous because, in the past, opening up meant being hurt. They have learned that sharing emotions can leave them exposed, so they guard their feelings tightly, revealing only what they're comfortable with. This guarded nature isn't a lack of warmth or compassion. It's a self-protective layer built from years of pain. They're selective with whom they let in, and their quiet strength often appears as a calm or distant demeanor. But once trust is earned, they open up in the most genuine and tender ways, revealing the depth of their caring nature and loyalty to those they trust. Number six, a relentless pursuit of perfection. For those who have endured a great deal, perfectionism is often more than just a desire to do things well. It's a way of defending themselves from criticism and rejection. Perfectionism becomes a shield. If everything they do is flawless, they won't have to face judgment or further pain. Beneath this pursuit of excellence lies a need to feel valued, accepted, and worthy. They may pour their energy into work, relationships, or personal goals, hoping that their achievements will prove their worthiness. It's as though they are saying, if I am perfect, maybe I won't be hurt again. Yet, while this drive often leads to great accomplishments, it can also be exhausting. Over time, they may learn to balance this need with self-acceptance, recognizing that their worth doesn't depend on perfection, but on the resilience and heart they bring to everything they do. Number seven, a need for control. When life has been chaotic and painful experiences have come out of nowhere, those who've suffered often develop a need to control what they can. Control becomes a way to create stability, a method of ensuring that unpredictability doesn't have the chance to hurt them again. They become meticulous planners, organizing every detail of their lives, from their daily routines to long-term goals, all in an effort to feel secure. This desire for control isn't about power, it's about peace. By creating structure, they feel like they're building a safe harbor amidst life's uncertainties. For them, control means having a say in what happens next, and it offers them the stability that life's painful lessons may have taken away. This trait may sometimes seem rigid, but for them, it's a way to maintain peace and prevent life from blindsiding them again. Number eight, an ingrained sense of justice. When someone has experienced deep unfairness, they often become the fiercest advocates for fairness in the world around them. Injustice is no longer an abstract concept. It's personal. These individuals often become champions for those who cannot stand up for themselves, using their own experiences of suffering as fuel to fight for what's right. They have an almost instinctual need to call out wrongs and stand up against inequality, knowing what it feels like to be powerless in the face of unfairness. Their empathy for the underdog and passion for justice isn't just a reaction. It's a mission. They fight not only for themselves, but for anyone they recognize as being caught in the grip of injustice. This sense of justice is more than just a quality. It's a calling, one that transforms their pain into purpose and fuels a relentless drive to protect those who can't protect themselves. Number nine, quiet but unyielding courage. For those who have suffered deeply, Courage doesn't look like grand gestures or heroic speeches. It's woven into their everyday choices, their commitment to keep moving forward no matter how difficult the path. Imagine the courage it takes to trust again after being let down or to open your heart after it's been broken. Their bravery is subtle but powerful, an inner fire that pushes them to wake up each day and continue on, even when it feels like the world is against them. They don't announce their strength, nor do they seek recognition for their courage. Every small step forward is a victory, each decision to keep going a testament to their resilience. Their bravery is found in the quiet moments, in the way they rebuild after every loss, and in the way they refuse to let past pain define their future. Number 10, compassionate wisdom. Suffering teaches lessons that only those who have experienced it can truly understand. This is why those who have suffered deeply develop a type of wisdom that can only be born from hardship. They know what it's like to feel lost, broken, and without hope, and this understanding shapes them into people who don't judge. They are more understanding and share other people's feelings. Their compassion isn't shallow. It's rooted in an understanding that comes from their own struggles. This wisdom allows them to connect with others on a deep level, offering advice and support that feels authentic and healing. They become a source of comfort for those around them, 
offering insights that are rich with understanding and compassion. This wisdom becomes a gift they share with the world, helping others navigate their own hardships with grace and resilience. Which of the above traits can you relate to? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our other videos. Thanks for watching and stay blessed.